really competitive welterweight bout between the unbeaten Derek Granger from Bethnal Green, seven straight wins he's had, and the experienced Simon Eubanks from Brighton. Our commentator ringside is Harry Carpenter. Eubanks very quickly off his stool and into the attack. Eubanks, the black boxer. Quite a lively little welterweight contest. This scheduled for eight rounds. Both weigh 10 stone 10. Eubanks trying to weave his way inside. Ooh, that was a good right from Eubanks. Granger felt that. In fact, I did. Granger needs to be a bit careful if he wants to keep this unbeaten record. Shoulder, that's the first caution he's had, but it's been used a few times. Third round. Young Granger got the shock of his life there. Again, his shoulder going in. In it goes again. He loves using that shoulder and he's getting away with it. Well, this is developing into some scrap. And Grange is having to work very hard to stay fractionally on top. Again, that dangerous right hand from Eubanks, threatening. Strongly again. Granger all too easy to hit around the head. Closing seconds of the third round. And what a fight this is turning out to be. They love around the elephant and castle. Well, this man Eubanks really did unleash a right hand early on and then stormed back into the attack later in the round. Look at that right hand. Putting together socking great punches and Granger uh, really not quite knowing where he is and the defense is down and having to take them. Well, if the uh, standard of uh, competition keeps up as it uh, was in the last round, the customers here are going to be happy. Granger in the black trunks, the young prospect, 21, against Simon Newbanks of Brighton, will be 27, just one week tonight. Eubanks has uh, gained in confidence tremendously over the last two rounds. 
Granger from Bethnal Green, a former member of the Young England Amateur Squad. Never gained any senior honours in the amateur side of the sport. struggle to separate them. So determined to get at each other. Well, this is the sort of small hall war that uh, people pay to come and see. that you have to punch you have to make an effort to punch you mustn't just stick the arm out so i don't know whether terry lawless really envisaged to fight like this when he uh, agreed to simon eubanks as an opponent i suspect if he'd foreseen this mr eubanks wouldn't have been asked to come and eubanks runs across the ring to get a Granger. Eubanks, the black boxer. get behind the jab and start sticking it in rather than trade punches this is those boxing orders to me and uh, not bad orders either because he hasn't come off too well at the uh, the wild exchanges jabs as well this is quite a performance by simon eubanks lost his last four fights and nine of his last ten it might just be different tonight subdue him and no matter what Granger does even when he puts good punches together Eubanks comes straight back at him it's something equally as good and that's why our good fights are made Bump 
coming up above the left eye of Eubanks. What an attack that was from Eubanks. And the bell's coming up. noticeable swelling beginning to appear above the left eye of this man you can just caught it in profile there so he's got a few problems and he sent Granger a few problems here with this storming attack towards the end of the round look at this lot going in and Granger went back to his corner with blood streaming from his nose this six round with uh, a slight cut having appeared by his left eye so they've both got left eye problems Eubanks left eye swelling rapidly and Granger's got a small cut three rounds to go including this and nothing decided yet Rangers. I wonder if he's tiring. The sixth round. And Granger's only once in his seven row fights been as far as this. two-minute rounds and these are three-minute rounds so he's being stretched here Granger considerably further than he's ever had to box before a little bit of blood coming from the cut by Granger's left eye Eubanks still looks remarkably fresh is complaining that he's been hit low I think he can't continue Eubanks can't continue and doesn't want to it's all over he's complaining about I don't think it's a low blow he's complaining about something he's winded certainly but he's pointing to a perfectly legitimate area of his body uh, around just between around his midrib just below the chest but he couldn't continue and so Granger when things were getting the toughest has suddenly pulled it out we might see it here Stephen Roach